recreate this slideshow effect done by Ali Abdal on CapCut. Here I'm going to use this video as my background. I know in Ali Abdal's video it was black and white so we can go to filters and drag and drop BW3. I personally want a bit of color so I'll drop the strength and I can also drop the opacity to make it a bit darker. Now I'm just going to add the text and write expressive writing. I'm just going to increase the size, change the font, and change the color to about yellow. Also add a glow to it, nothing too crazy. Now we'll add some sort of animation into it. So I think bounce left was something similar to what Ali Abdal had. Now if I play it back, this is what it looked like. Now I'm just going to zoom in into the timeline and cut the video short a bit to roughly about 5 to 6 seconds. So we've done the first part of the video, now we're going to start to create the second part. and Eventually we'll join it together. So let's just start off by dragging my slide image into the timeline. I'm going to make it bigger and do the same thing, add the filter and reduce the strength and make it a bit darker as well. And also make this clip about 10 seconds long. If you play it back, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to drop our second image, which is the group of students. Unfortunately, I did have to remove the background on Photoshop. I tried doing it on CapCut through chroma key and auto cutout, but unfortunately it took more than the background out of the photo so I had to use Photoshop. So here I increased the size of the image and moved it all the way to the left. Now we're going to add that BW3 filter to the image. Again adjust the strength to your liking. I don't want it too grey so I'm going to reduce the strength just a little bit. Now we'll add the text. Drag and drop. And we'll write 70 students. We'll make it We'll try to make it the same as, as, the, as the short. I don't know what font they use, but this will do. I'm going to change the color to yellow. And I also want that text to be behind the student's head. So we'll just drag it down like that. And give it a animation. So this is the result so far. Now I'm just going to go with stickers and search for tick. And see if they have a green tick that I like. This is pretty good. I know it's pro version but you can pick the free version just resize it and put it on top of every student's head really I'm gonna stagger it too so they all come on one at a time now I'm gonna add an animation bounce in is a good um animation so we'll just do that for all three of them now if I play it back this is what it looked like which is pretty good and now if we compare the two videos, this is what it'll look like. Now we're going to add a keyframe on all three ticks, plus the image with the students. Now we're going to move our timeline across a little bit, and then we're going to drag our student image across to the left. Play it back, and that's what it looks like, it's good. Now I've got to do the same thing with the three ticks. I'm just going to fast forward this part. Now we got all the text done, we're going to play it back and this is where we're currently up to. And you should slide. Now I'm going to add the remaining ticks. So bear with me. Now we'll go back to stickers and search up broken heart. And this is what I found and this is what I'm going to use. Just going to resize them and add the bounce effect. One thing I did forget, I forgot to move that 70 student text along with the slide. So I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to move it in sync when the image slides to the left. Now when I play it back, you can see the text is moving in sync with the image. 
All right, now I'm gonna cut short that text. I'm gonna add another text right next to it. I'm just gonna type in my text and rinse and repeat what we did before. Change the color, change the font, add the glow. I think I'm gonna remove the word event and have it separate because I, I wanna make it bigger than the words past and painful. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna add that animation in and I select bounce in for both text. I'm gonna increase the duration too. Now when I play it back, you can see the animation effects on the text and the hearts. Now we're up to the final section. We're gonna select all this and right click compound clip. And same goes with this part of the clip. Now why I did this, because now we can add a transition in between these two clips. Before we couldn't do it, so we had to compound all the clips together. Now we can add a transition. So I've added a slide left, you can see right there. Now when I played back the video, this is the final result. Hope you enjoy and see you next time.